the movie Spotlight about the Boston Globe's Pulitzer Prize winning expose of sexual abuse by Catholic priests and the downfall of Boston's Cardinal Bernard Law debuts next Friday, but it's already getting Oscar buzz. The story follows the Globe Spotlight investigative team as they dig deep into the church's veil of secrecy. Whoever could have imagined that a newspaper story based largely on reporters doing research and poring over documents could possibly end up being one of the year's biggest blockbusters. We still have trouble believing it. I mean, you could put an audience to sleep <laughs> in a hurry, but they were convinced that it was a great story. That's Walter Robinson, the self-described player and coach of the Spotlight team in the early 2000s, played in a movie by Michael Keaton. Well, I had to know. That's why he had the reaction, because he knew there were others. After several reports of predatory pre-surfaced, newly named Boston Globe editor Marty Barron, played by Lee Schreiber, tells the Spotlight team, dig deeper. And show me this was systemic, that it came from the top down. Schreiber artfully captured the stoic Marty Barron. And Walter Robinson says the actors spent days and weeks assuming their characters. Michael Keaton, who's a great actor, you know, friends of mine who've seen the film call me up and they say, oh my God, it's you. He nailed you. He got your mannerisms. He got your figures of speech. He got your hand gestures. He did it. What did they get wrong? Anything? It's a dramatization. There are fictionalized scenes. There are composite characters. I mean, there are a couple of places where there are five characters that they made into one. But they got the story right. Robinson and his fellow spotlighters are promoting the movie on a whirlwind tour. L.A. next week, then New York, then back here when the movie opens next Friday. In addition to hoping the movie is as popular nationwide as it no doubt will be here, Robinson thinks it will give journalism a lift. You know, there are so many injustices in life that are, need to be uncovered. Am I optimistic about the future of newspapers as great producers of revenue? No, but nobody is. Uh, but journalism, I, I have hope. The Oscars await. I have to say, I was over at the Boston Globe yesterday doing that interview with Walter Robinson, and it was electric. You know, there were black limousines outside, and <laughs> some of the actors were walking around. The, the cast of characters, you know, Michael Rosendez, Sasha Pfeiffer, Matt Carroll, and Robinson walking around, and everybody, the, the interviewers were lining up to get them. I mean, I got a kick out of it for them. Mm. I mean, I, I hope sincerely that this thing does catch fire. I mean, locally, I think it will do very well, and it's an excellent, excellent film. But just the idea that these producers and the writer, Josh Singer, could bring to life something that was so densely reported through research, and, and, and you, you will see that when you see the movie, too, that how much time was spent doing storyboards and you know, piecing together, going back through records of you know, priests and when they worked at what parish and what they were, sick leave and all the kinds of little minutiae data. And to bring it to life was really quite something. I know you had a chance to see it too. We had a screening at Nor that Northeastern sponsored last night. It's just an absolutely phenomenal movie. Uh, one of my Northeastern colleagues, his first reaction was, well, this is another All the President's yeah, Men. Yeah, very similar. And I, I, I think it is. I think it's as good. And I think one of the strengths of the movie is it really does show the process of investigative reporting. Now, obviously, it leaves out the months and months of boring parts yeah. because that's, it's not always the most glamorous work in the world. But it shows you how it, how, how it comes together. Uh, somebody said it's probably the first depiction in a major Hollywood movie of computer-assisted reporting. I mean, <laughs> we see them entering all this yeah. data into a spreadsheet. It's, it is a remarkable mm. achievement. Yeah. Well, uh, I, I want to speak directly here to the people in the, in the audience tonight, and I'm sure there are many who are rolling their eyes and saying, there they go with all another round of smug back padding by journalists. And what I want to say is, uh, first of all, with all due respect to the uh, excellent reporting that was done here, certainly a Pulitzer Prize worthy to, worthy to say the least, that did a great service to this community, the real star of the show ultimately are the dollar bills, uh, millions of them. 
that were spent by an organization, the Boston Globe, that didn't have a lot of mm -hmm. loose millions laying around in order to hire expensive lawyers to pry loose much That's of right. the key information here. If there's one thing people take away from all this when all the Klieg lights have dimmed and the, uh, the rah-rah has faded, it's that a really good journalism like this sometimes requires tremendous resources, mm -hmm. and if we don't support that kind of journalism with our dollars mm -hmm. as consumers, you won't get That's it. That's made very clear, too. It's and a it good is, point. It is interesting that when you consider that this is a profession, obviously, that is all about storytelling and all about telling the narratives of other people, that so often there are really bad movies about journalism. Mm -hmm. And sometimes that's dependent on what the actual story is. If it's something like Shattered Glass, then obviously you're telling a story about a sort of a, a fabulous and a fabricator. Mm. Uh, if it's all the president's men, obviously you're looking at sort of what it took to bring down uh, a president. And I feel like Spotlight is probably very mm. similar. I, I would agree, with, and I have yet to see the film yet, but I think I would agree with something that Dan said, which is that I think right now people have a more of appreciation for <laughs> mysteries and sort of dramas mm. that dig deeper and wanting to know the, the minutia. And so it's not sort of a simple whodunit anymore that audiences that are looking for. And I think that this story might, might uh, uh, definitely reward that. Mm. I think that uh, the fact that it focuses on process, and I haven't mm. seen it as well, and not just process, but on a team of collaborators. Because what we always tell people is that no one of us uh, could pull this together. Now, in fact, this is a very specialized team, the Spotlight team. But, but it took all of them working together to bring these pieces home mm -hmm. in one piece, in a holistic piece. And I hope something else. I hope the people who go and say, wow, look at how much effort it took to tell this, will come away understanding that why we get all freaked out when somebody says, oh, who needs that? I'll just go on the web and read it. Where do you think exactly, it comes from? Exactly, that's what I always say. <laughs> yeah, so, and I just told anyway. people, you know, on that point, Kelly, I was talking to somebody <laughs> this week about that uh, terrific piece they did about the double surgeries, the Spotlight oh, team. Yeah. It's like just mind boggling. And I'm talking to a group of people, and I realize that, that I'm talking to a, just a blank piece of paper. People don't read it. And it's like, you know, if they see something like this, it'll be maybe, maybe I should read the paper every now and then. Maybe mm. I should pick that up. And, and for all of the great work that Kristen Lombardi at the yeah. Phoenix mm -hmm. did on this story, mm -hmm. and, that, uh, and the great work that other news organizations mm -hmm. do, if it weren't for a news organization with the size, resources, mm -hmm. yes. and clout of the globe, uh, the politicians yes. and the prosecutors in this town weren't going to go after the archdiocese. No. That comes out too because they do they do mention the Phoenix. That really does exactly come out. like they, that. I mean, yeah. I'm glad you mentioned yeah. Kristen's wonderful work, but the power the and power influence of, the of a big news organization just, yeah. is crucial.